Hey folks, Kellen Owen, Epic Adventure. Today's our project uh, is going to be uh, putting on a new weed eater head on our weed eater. Uh, this is a Speed Fast. Uh, this was the uh, old style right here that they came with. So they're pretty much wore out. That was about 15 years ago. So our tools that we need. Channel locks. Uh, we need a <clears throat> flat screen. And you want an awl to hold it. See how that comes to a point right there? So that'll make it easy. And then the uh, next thing you're going to want is the, a grease gun, a towel. Because either you're doing this after that weeder's been running a while, it's going to be hot. So you want to cover up your weed eater head. And that way, uh, as you turn it over to work on it, it will not, uh, that gas won't go all over the place that's already in it. Alright. Let's see what we got to work with here. Instructions. And these universal heads, they actually uh, come with three different types of uh, connectors. So whichever one works on your machine. Now let's see. Let me turn this one over. I already got this part broke down. So all you want to do is unscrew that out of there. And another thing, even though these heads are junk now, Go ahead and save the uh, the bolt inside here. It's kind of hard to pull out, but you can get it out of there. All right, so we're going to take our spacer cap off. What you can see, I've already uh, put lithium in there, grease. And inside these heads, let's go outside a minute. You're going to find a lot of string, a lot of crap. You want to get all of that out of there. I said that this space will slide off but you want to shoot this lithium grease a grease gun down inside of here and put that back and you put the uh, all right put your cap back on there um, this one was the silver and your instructions will tell you It's either H or I. It's the only two that come with it. So you can kind of see that. But make sure you leave your weed eater uh, head uh, guard on there. Don't take it off because that'll just get you or somebody else hurt. All right. Now this one, uh, it's got to uh, countersink, as I recall. I can get it started. Damn it. Or maybe it was a gold one. Yeah. Jesus. Now, this is what your all is for. Find your hole. see that won't let that turn when I lock that into place now take a pretty good size flat okay all right now got that on there now we'll pull her head out I have no idea what to put that thing in there for now I don't see where it talks about it I'm sure it's just some kind of 
bushing or something to replace if you don't have that for your cap. It's like a waste of time to me. Oh, here. It says remove short bushing from speed line. Head replace with long bushing. And use the spacer. So yeah, it's just a spacer. I don't... Uh, you can see right here, it's really immaterial. So now we got that, we got this locked in place. Everything's good and tight. So now we're gonna put, put our head on. Okay, and we put her all back in. And we just tighten her up with our hand. And that should be pretty good right there. Alright folks, well that's how you change your head. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Alright folks. Remember I said, uh, all them pieces that you didn't use, you definitely want to save them um, in your instructions. Because you never know. You may get in, you know, that weeder may crap out on you. You have to get a new one. And then you still, you don't have to go buy a whole new set. So, and then you just kind of hang it up somewhere on your bench. And and then you'll, uh, you'll have it for whenever, whenever you need it there. All right, now um, I'd also, yeah. All right, now let's take our old head and uh, remember how I said on the other video, you want to save these pieces. This is shot, this is done for. It's completely wore out, so you want to save that. So now we're gonna get our tools here. Uh, need a pretty good size hammer out of work um, usually most of the time just by taking a hammer and hitting that but if they're pretty well corroded in there I mean they're not supposed to get corroded but they do um, I'm gonna go with a pretty good size punch. So you can see the tip on that. This is a, let's see, 3 16 snap-on. And also it has a little warning label on there. About wear your safety glasses. Always do so. All right, now we're gonna take this, we're gonna take our uh, punch holder and you wanna screw that in there. And once you get it set on there, then you take this nut and we're gonna need a probably a half inch on that. Let's find this, what's about metrics? I'm pretty sure that's it. All right. All right, now. And see, the on these uh, punch and chisel holders, they come with a little nut there, and you want to put that on. You ain't got to get all crazy on it. Just give her a good little turn. That's it. And then 
Um, once you have your glasses on, put that right in the center there. And the reason that you don't want to use too big a one because you don't want to booger up the sides. And just tap her out. Just like that. And see, so now, now we got it. We didn't booger up our threads. But these are very handy to keep a hold of. You never know what type of uh, weed eater head you'll get. And this, like I said, this one is shot. So you want to hang on to these. Um, and I've got a jug around here somewhere that um, it's got several of them in it. They're handy to have. So, all right. Well, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.